California State University, Northridge, the Assistive Technology Initiative strives to give students with disabilities, like Christine McCarthy, equal access to information and communications on campus. I have a processing disorder which affects my memory, so the best way for me to explain it to people is if you can imagine having like filing cabinets in your memory and little minions that file your information away. Sometimes my minions just file wherever they feel like it. And then when the second shift comes on duty, they can't find anything. My name is Christine McCarthy. I'm a graduating senior, and my major is early childhood development. Patrice Wheeler, an assistive technology specialist, helps oversee the ATI program. ATI was formed probably close to a dozen years ago um, to address the issues that there were um, inaccessible formats, you know, materials for classrooms, people couldn't use computers, there was a lot of barriers and so the Accessible Technology Initiative began um, to address those. The things that I use mostly are um, digital books and I use them on my iPad. Uh, they read to me and I can highlight things, I can underline things. Um, I've also just recently made use of the testing areas where I can, because I get extra time for tests, so I just started using that too. Everyone has a stake in assistive technology and accessibility. Everybody has a piece and if each person does one thing, we can all make this easier from a Word document to a PDF to software to making sure that our buildings are accessible. It's made it so much easier to start to be able to get through a book where I would only be able to, I don't know, I just kept reading the same lines over and over and over again and having it read to me, it makes it move along and it doesn't take me hours anymore. The other thing that happens is it expands beyond software. They're talking about prosthetics for people that have lost limbs. They're talking about a better way for people who are deaf and hard of hearing to interact with, with movies in your daily lives. So what happens is, is that those engineering students that are the brightest and the best because they're here in college, they're excited, they're, they have a really good view of what people want and what they want as consumers, they're going to come up with ideas that make it even better and ultimately less expensive and more affordable. Having the books read to me with my learning disability, I need to not only hear it, see it, say it, write it, so having the books read to me helps the information stay in my brain.